Alright then gang, so in this video I want to talk a little bit about route parameters, but first of all I'd like to explain exactly what they are. So they're a part of a URL that can change. So we usually see them on URLs for individual records, such as profile routes. So say for example we have a route like this, mysite.com forward slash users, and then forward slash whatever the username is, or the slug for that username is. So it could be Yoshi2k1, Mario the Man, etc. So the rest of the URL stays the same, but these bits on the end, these change to show the different bits of data for each individual user. Now they both still show a user profile page. The page template is going to be the same, but the data they show is different based on this URL. Another example would be a cooking recipe page. So we could have mycookingsite.com forward slash recipes forward slash then the ID for that recipe. So we could have loads of different kinds of these things, loads of different IDs, and they're all showing up the same page, the same layout, the same components, if you like, if it were a React application, but inside those components, we're showing different data based on the URL itself, based on the ID or the username or the slug or whatever else is the route parameter. So these things right here, these, the changing parts, these are the route parameters, and we're gonna look at how we can deal with them in React in this video. All right then, so imagine that we wanted to click on one of these posts right here. And if we click on one of these posts, then it's gonna take us to a URL which is forward slash and then the ID of whatever that post is. For example, one, two, three, four, or just one or three or something. And then if we land on that page, then it's gonna show us the post details for that page. So the ID here is gonna be the route parameter. This thing here, this is gonna be the route parameter. So how do we set up a route for this kind of behavior? Well, let's go to where our routes are set up in the app.js file. So if we open that up, we can see our different routes down here. Now then, what I'd like to do is place another route at the bottom. And this route is gonna have a path and it's gonna be equal to something. And we'll come back to that in a second. We'll close that route off. And we need to pass this a component as well and again we'll come back to this in a second so the path right here how do we define that we're expecting a route parameter something that's going to be a variable or will change so forward slash and then whatever the ID is well the way we define a route parameter is by a colon first of all then we give that route parameter a name now this can be whatever you want but obviously to make this logical I'm going to call this post underscore ID so now we're saying right here that we're expecting a URL which is going to be forward slash and then a route parameter called post ID. So if that post ID is one, two, three, four, five, then the post ID right here would match one, two, three, four, five. All right. So we'll talk about this again in a second. For now, let's create this component which is going to show a single post. So in components over here, right click and create a new file, call this post.js. All right, so in here, we need to define a component which is gonna be a single post. Now, this component, I think I might use state in it. So, what we'll do is use a class-based component. So, we'll import React. We'll also import components from React, like so. All right, so now we need to make this class. So, class, and we'll call it post extends component like that. And then let's just export this because I always uh, forget to export these at the end. So let's do it now. Export default post. Cool. So now inside here, first of all, let's create the render method to generate a template. We'll return that right here. And inside this template, I'd just like to do a simple div for now with a class of container that is a materialize CSS class just to contain everything in a central column and then an H4. And this is where we're going to output the, for now, the route parameter, right? So what we're gonna do is when this component is loaded up, we're gonna try and identify what the route parameter is because we need to know the ID. In order to know what post we want to show here, we need to know the ID of that post so we can request it, okay? So then, let us save that and go back to app.js because we need to import that component right now. So let's import post from and then it's dot forward slash components and then forward slash post. 
and down here we want to show the post component when we go to forward slash something or other all right so let us now save this and try it out now if i go to a browser and go to forward slash one two three four five then we can see this thing right here the wrap around that's the h4 at the minute so then how do we then identify the wrap parameter inside this component so we know what data to fetch? Well, let's go and have a look. If we go to post.js, this is where we want to identify what the wrap parameter is. Now, when is a good time to do that? Well, I think it's in the component did mount hook. Like we used for fetching data, we're going to try and find out the wrap parameter inside this hook as well. Then we can go and fetch data if we wish. So let us create that component did mount function and inside here we'll say let id equal and the way we find the route parameter is using that extra information that the react router provides to us on the props object remember when we first started looking at the react router we got all that extra information attached to the props object about our route so we can grab that by saying this dot props dot match dot params and then the name of our route parameter now we called it over here inside app.js post id so all we need to do is say dot post id now before we do that what i'd like to do is log to the console just to show you where i got this from this dot props all right so remember we automatically get props in class based components and when this component is being used as a route like this, then we get access to that extra information, that extra route information on the props object automatically. So I'm going to log the props to the console so that you can see that information and see where I got this from. So if we open up the console over here, then we should see that we have this thing right here. So we have the match property. And then down here, we have a property called params. And we can see we have a post ID parameter, which is grabbing the value of this thing right here. So that's really cool. Inside a component, we can identify what the route parameter is. And that is freaking awesome. Because then inside the component, we know which post to go out and grab using some kind of HTTP request. So let us for now, just ignore that stuff up there. So we'll create a state object and we'll set it equal to an object and inside we'll store a property called ID. And to begin with, when the component first loads up, it's gonna be null. But then when component did mount fired, we're gonna grab the ID from the URL and we're gonna set the state so that the ID then becomes the ID from the URL. So we're keeping track of that locally inside this component. So we'll say this dot set state and then inside the ID is gonna be equal to the ID we just grabbed right here, okay? So then now what we can do in the template over here is output the ID, this thing right here. So we'll do that right here. We'll say this.state.id. So let's save that and go to a browser. And now we can see the ID logged right here. And if we change this to something else, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then we're gonna see that down here. Doesn't matter what it is, Yoshi, we're gonna see that down here. All right, my friends, so now we know how to use route parameters, how to set them up and how to grab that route parameter inside a component. So in the next video, what we'll do is set up the links from these things right here when we're outputting each individual item, each individual post on the homepage. We'll set up links which grab the ID and send us to this component so we can grab the ID and then show that data in this component for the post detail page.